Hello and welcome back to week two, round two of my predictions of the NRL season. Now, round one was absolutely jam packed with a lot of things going on. Uh, you had three uh, games that have been decided by uh, one point. You had the Dolphins surprising everyone and beating the Roosters, who I think are pretty much everyone's picks to win the comp this year. Um, but Dolphins, to their credit, they've done it. Uh, they deserved the win. It's so good to shut up a Roosters fan. Um, and unfortunately, it's come at the, at the price of, of the Dolphins beating them. Fortunately, but and so have our tips and if you do the NRL tipping up, unfortunately, your round didn't your round went like mine did. And in saying that, I accidentally tipped the Eels on the app instead of the Storm. So therefore, I've only got uh, four wins out of eight instead of five that I should have got. But we won't talk about that. We will instead. Move on to round two. He's, uh, Manly has the buy this week. Uh, thank goodness, because I can't believe they actually came out and won convincingly uh, the way they have. So, but credit to them, they've done it. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to on to round two, shall we? Alrighty. Here we are, as I said before, we are round two of, of <clears throat> just like I said, mainly have the buy for round two. All right, before we get into round two, I should actually quickly go uh, through the ladder. Um, you can see the Storm Broncos Cowboys finish off your top eight because they all had cracking games. I didn't watch the Storm one. Uh watched a little bit of the Broncos and I would say I watch the football games, but I do like watch highlights. I do keep up um enough. I did watch what did I watch? I watched a bit of Tigers Warriors. Uh I definitely was watching the Sea Eagles take on uh, who they take on the Bulldogs. Oh boy that was that embarrassing. Anyway, so that is the the ladder after round one. Um, my results there, four out of eight, as we all know, which is good. Um, so let's move on to the first game. And we have Panthers taking on South Sydney. Um, Panthers lost to the Broncos by a point. How good is it to be a Broncos fan, especially if you tipped against them, which I'm happy about. They say don't go against your team, but I'm not here just to tip my team. I am here to... Think with my head and do good tips, uh, but we didn't get there. Uh, although I did have a feeling that Broncos could beat the Panthers because it is round one. But unfortunately, uh, just didn't go my way on the tipping score. Broncos fan? Absolutely went my way, uh, but not on the tip. Um, but South Sydney, they took on the Sharkies, if I recall correctly, even though it's, what's today? Wednesday, and... I've already forgotten who, who's taken on who. Uh, but I think they will be a top, at least top four team, potentially top two team with, um, wait, actually, if I go back to my same predictions, I said Panthers will be on top. But if they keep playing, they go on this downward spiral that people think they're going on, which I really don't think they will. Um, possible. But in saying that, my tip is going to be Rabbitohs. I, Panthers, great sides bounce back. However, I do think Rabbitohs will... They're just a more informed team. So to speak. They were in form at the back end of last year. Uh, saying that, so was Panthers. But I think Rabbitohs are... They're finding something with their team. Uh, I think they're in a good spot right now, uh, despite, oh, I don't know, for a second I thought this grand final rematch, but it's not. Um, 
So yeah, I'm going Rabbitohs. Game two, we have the Yucky Yuck Eels versus the Sharks. Uh, Eels just losing to Storm by one point, and the Sharks, I was expecting them to lose against uh, the Rabbits. Um, just because of Nico Hines, and unfortunately, without him, I don't think Sharks actually have a team. Uh, so for this game, I will go Eels because Nico Hines is out still. Um, again, Eels is in a good spot, I think, even despite losing the way they did in the grand final. And they will be a bit disheartened losing by one point. Uh, I th I do think they'll bounce bounce back, though. I think they've got it in them. All right, game three. Now, this is probably going to be game of the round because the Broncos and Cowboys for the past, when was the grand final? 2017, I think it was. So for the past, was that six years? They have been putting on a great game every time they play. I think pretty much every game is decided in less than four points. Um, I think multiple, multiple games have been decided by a golden point. Um, so this will be game of the uh, game of the round. Yeah, game of the round for me. Um, because I am a Broncos fan, I will be going the Broncos. Uh, even though I, I, who knows? Hopefully the uh, the the momentum from last week beating Pan Panthers uh, will be enough to push them um, for a good season. Let's let's just go with that. All right, Saturday games. Roosters versus the Warriors. Now, Roosters did lose to Dolphins, like we spoke about. And as I said with the Panthers, great teams bounce back. And I absolutely believe that the Roosters are absolutely going to bounce back. One, it's the Warriors. Two, it's the Roosters. So, the Sombrero will work well, and Roosters will get up. Plain and simple. Don't need to beat around the bush about it. That's uh, just the way it's going to go. Dolphins versus Raiders. Now, Dolphins will be definitely on a high. They've got a, a lot of great senior players that they recruit, recruited. However, they are on the back end of their careers. Saying that, Raiders, you are dog water. And you are on the decline. You will be in rebuild, rebuild phase, pro for the next five years. I'm going Dolphins uh, for that reason. Uh, Storm versus Bulldogs. Crikey, did the Bulldogs let me down? I'll tell you that for free. Um, Storm just beating by one point. If I remember what I tipped. I'm not afraid that Munster is out. I do think. Storm still win. I don't think Bulldogs have found what their team chemistry is, so I'm really going to go with Storm here. A Tigers versus Knights. Knights were my bottom of the ladder team. However, I think I may regret that decision come end of year because I really think Raiders will be in that position despite Tigers being in the comp. Uh, Tigers, they do have a good team. Knights, they played very well. I think if Kalen Ponga didn't get sent off the field from the independent doctor, the Knights could have won that game. It was probably... It was pretty much a momentum shift, I would say. The Knights were in red-hot form, and one of your main playmakers has been, uh, been forced off the field. Um, so, but saying that, I'm going Tigers. Uh, I think being at Leichhardt Oval, I think they are going to be able to bounce back better than what the Knights, Knights will. So, yeah, that's what I think of that. St. George in the Titans. Uh, St. George fresh off a buy round, the first round of the year, and they got a buy. Um. So they've had a bit more time, I guess, not being able to be match fit. So I think this really, really will work in the Gold Coast Titans. Actually, before we get anywhere, what on earth is St. George's 
stadium name. Like, why do you have to make it that complicated? Net Strata, Jubilee, like, just... Ooh, Jubilee Stadium, why do you have to have that nonsense of a word to be at the beginning of it? That's just yucky. Um, but in saying that, Titans uh, will definitely... I don't want to say definitely win because, again, Titans is one of those teams that should probably be in a barrel rolling down a hill. But I, I will back the Titans this week. I will. Alrighty, that concludes round two tipping uh, games. Tipping games. Tipping of games of the NRL. Uh, hopefully this week is a much better week than last week, the opening week. Uh, I go by my app, I only got three right, but if I go by this, I got four right. So I'm going to go with this because this is where I'm doing it. I got four right. Um, game, of, game of the week will be Broncos Cowboys. Uh, usual suspects should win their game. Especially, there, there are great teams that lost in round one that will bounce back in round two. So don't count them out. Um, Eventually, Panthers and Roosters, uh, they will bounce back. Uh, but anyway, I will see you next week again for round three and also round two, little bit of a recap. Until then, have a good week. I will see you later. That you never saw. Send for the Dan Bears for your firestorm because I turn into a monster. Ready for the war. Better with your black. None of them boy, they're not bad.